Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus and Moon Desire Bob and Midge Man Play. Who's who's vassal now? <laughs> Fuck Midge Man, his wars. <laughs> uh... So we actually did just get Midge Man the uh, enough percentage, correct? No. Fuck! God damn it! It wasn't even worth no, it. We're not. We're not done yet. <laughs> Jesus I'll, I'll, Christ! I'll, 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 I hate to break it to you. But for some reason, that didn't change my percentage whatsoever. Uh, maybe a month hasn't ticked by yet? Uh, yeah, we might not have had a month yet. So sure. let's I, let it recalculate I, before I scream fuck into my microphone again. Well, you, yeah, no, we're definitely not <laughs> no, going to no, 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 no. The fuck sentiment is still clear because fuck fighting in Finland. God damn it. I'm, not, I'm glad that I was off rating while that happened. Just 15,000 screaming Slavs just like pop out of the fucking ground. It's just like, Jesus. Like we were all up in arms that it was a bug. No, it's, it's working as intended. Well... I'm not sure it was working as intended, because they definitely gained some while there was piety not leaving. Because I watched it happen, so... I think it was half bug, half not. Okay. Part bug? It's a little buggy. Little buggy, yeah. It's a little but buggy. But what you could do as well, there's this other duke. You could try and revoke his titles and give them to me. Uh, that's the... Rostislav. Rostislav? Uh, Yolden of Karlin. Actually, I don't think I've, I've set up the revoke title law... Nope. And also, Ingra isn't under me. That's why my percentage hasn't changed. Oh, well, let's fix that. Oh, I got a lot of prisoners. That's right, because I, I did the de jure claim for myself for the Empire. Um, I don't know. Oh, wait, never mind. For Jesus Christ, I looked at that wrong for a second. I was looking at the number of years imprisoned as the uh, age of the character. I was like, did I just go fucking rob a nursery? I thought I had six people that were zero years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rob a nursery. Oh, <laughs> I just God. walked into a nursery, took all the infants. You are mine. Yeah, this is actually a this is going to be a very nice raid once I get back. I'm at 303 gold in my ships at the moment. All right, Ben. As the man with the only like high learning stat, you get to be my physician. Okay. Wait. I'm your physician. You are my physician now. That is pretty cool. I I wonder if it'll give me. If, if like when you ask for oh, uh, you know what's it called um, like treatments, if it'll actually give me the me? events. Well, the guy you just transferred to me tried to murder me. I put him, tried to imprison him. He didn't get into prison. I'm just scared he's going to raise tribal levies. He's only got 91 soldiers, but he does have 214 prestige, and he magically just gained 50 piety. God, I, I stole a lot of. With you. No, I can do that. It's time for a bloat, everybody. Woo! I'm bloating too, Bob. We can have matching bloats. Everybody get your uh, fill everybody the bloat bust out the Christians. Out. It's like a Tupperware <laughs> party, but worse. <laughs> you know, you you got you got to you got to hear the little. That's how you know they're fresh. <laughs> the mm -mm -mm. popping noise, <laughs> popping noise when their neck breaks. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chickens now? <laughs> That's how you know it's fresh. <laughs> oh, oh god! You ever have you have you guys ever spent any uh, time reading the uh, like the subreddit of shit, shit people say while playing? Um... Yeah, of course. Yeah, it is a brilliant subreddit. I, I just got wounded. Wait, no wait. Why I oughta... I, my... This guy really just decided to pose you with just like 100 men. Yep. But he's like... It's a 30 piety and... Uh, he has enough... He has, uh -oh. sorry, he has enough piety and an, uh, almost enough prestige to do tribal army... Va and then... Um, All right. What's it called? I got, I got a question. So I'm doing... A, my, my guy was partway through the, uh, the scholarship focus where you could build the observatory... Do you know if it's mm -hmm. better to do how do the stars move, or is there str something strange out there? Which one's better? The top one gives you a load of piety. The second one has a chance to make you insane or give you mystic. Second one. I can create the kingdom of Finland. I just need money. Second one's the whole one that gives you the Necronomicon. Oh, I want the Necronomicon. I can create the kingdom, Midge. You can? Mm-hmm. I just need the money for it. Oh. How much money is it? It's 296 gold. Oh, oh Jesus. I, why is Finland so goddamn expensive? 
Because <laughs> there's tens of thousands of people living there, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, Midge. I'd like, I think I paid 160 for Norway. It depends on your stewardship as well. <laughs> Midge, man, you're such a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it's Bob's got really small stewardship, and so have I. Doesn't help. All right, well, taking donations for, donations for the Kingdom of Finland. <laughs> I'm going to go on a raid as soon as I finish this Ingrid bollocks. I mean, I'm, I'm still out raiding. My boats yeah, are not I'm full. And it's really nice that you can just drop off the money in my land over in Ireland as well. Oh, I have enough boats to just uh, fill Ooh, my. Fill I the got coffers. the start of the. I just started the 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 the, the thing for the thing. Um, Bob. The immortality thing. Oh. So why is there a being a King Benjamin Magnus of Swiftyard? Uh, because, um, Benjamin was the, you know, when you, when you type in a name, it adds it into the, uh, the pool yeah. of random names that can be chosen, of course. Ooh, um, Midge Man, I can send you on the thing to, to, I can send you to organize a search party for my immortality. Do it. Oh, okay, cool. Do it. Um, yeah, let's see what happens there. So somebody I'm just randomly, killed by somebody randomly named a kid Benjamin on their own accord. Okay, cool. Well, when you when you name children of your own accord, it enters it into like In your pool. dynasty database. Yeah. So yeah. somebody else, just, an AI character, did it. Pretty sure we just said that. We don't talk about that. Hey, I just gained warrior, so I got one plus one martial and plus one warland. So did you get the, any sort of event pop up then with me sending you off to do a thing, Midge? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. You are. Because it is such you organize a party search party for the thing not. to get me immortal. You, you well, let's let's make Bob immortal to see what happens. I'm gonna make this vassal not a sl uh, not a Slav anymore. That'll make me very happy. All right, I'm Demand no longer religious wounded. Conversion. How do you get rid of gluttonous? Think uh, Marshall. Uh, Marshall. Yeah, I think Marshall would do that. If you can somehow get like temperance as a thing. Um. So I that, that would uh, I think you get temperate from doing rulership. Or you can lose, I know you can lose it by doing hunting, you know, like hours out in the wilderness, blah, 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 blah. You can get um, temperate if you get invited to a feast. Uh, I gained paranoid. Since some irregular movie, you also notice the stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. You need to study this more. I'm paranoid about the stars. Of course you are. Well, they're weird. Ben's gonna find another way to kill a god. <laughs> 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 oh god, this would Is anyone be else the, this would be King Guthrid, uh, Guthrid the God God Slayer. That's kind of cool. So we're still missing. Oh, Paderborn is what we're missing still, but our moral authority is really high. 82.6%. That's because I am your best. Oh, man, this going to be great. If I get immortal, I can be like the immortal, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like Norse Pope. Yeah, the Norse Pope. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you're going to make yourself the 40k god emperor. Yes. <laughs> Does the emperor actually have a name in 40k? I never really, everybody just refers to it as the emperor. Yeah, I, I, I used to I, when I worked for for Games Workshop. I used to have all this like committed to memory. I not you so much anymore. for Games Workshop. Unfortunately, yeah. I did. Unfortunately, wait. Okay, why unfortunately? And what did you do? Okay, so I I was a quote unquote hobby specialist, which is just one of those guys you see in the red shirts, like the sales floor guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, so, like but at I, a store. At the, yeah, so I yeah, this is all I was. I was selling product and you know running events stuff like that. But you're a peon. I'm sorry. Yeah, well... Oh, when you said you worked I mean, for Games Workshop, I was like, were you writing the lore? Like, were you involved in committee? No, you were just a peon, sorry. Yeah. Ben, do you think I'd be here doing YouTube if I did? Well, that's what I was... That's why I was like, what? <laughs> uh, so, um... I, I say it fortunately because the, uh... I worked during the time just before, uh... Um, hang on, I got an event here. What's going on here? Paying your passage. This information I learned. Oh, Midge Man, you came back and told me about some sort of promising information. Oh. 
Jarl Porstein says, however, we, we could do some more supplies if we were to journey even further. In fact, I would like to send word to hire scouts in certain more distant regions. Continue this mission. <laughs> mission I has a pause before it. Give me money. Of course, there are other ways to reach Turdy. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to family. So I could I could throw like 86 coins at this and do it. Just throw the money. Let's throw the money at it or save it up for Midge. I mean, I'm gonna go into negative on it, so I'm gonna have to send my troops back home. I'm not gonna no raid today, boys. I ran out of money. So, so this I was working just before the. Um, the uh, switch over to where they had just like the hole in the wall stores where there was only one person per store. That, oh, at that point. where it's those like sad little things where there's it's like 300 square feet and there's not even shelves. It's just walls filled with crap. Yeah. And like, you know, the, the there's not really events anymore. There's not enough staff to run events like before that. It was great. I was running, you know, events. I was having a lot of fun. I was really into the game. I was helping with the, with the hobby part of it, you know, because I was pretty proficient at it. Mm hmm. But, uh, you know, then everything changed and switched over. And I was one of the people who got axed at that point. And there just was no soul left in it at that point with, yeah. the, you know, um, the community. The community moved on to a lot of other smaller shops that are just kind of mom and pop joints. Oh, the, oh. Like the, the mom and pop hobby joints are like the only mom and pop joints that have been surviving into this current era. Who were the ones that also did YouTube? Huh? There was there was a, a uh, back when I was really into it. There was a um, there was an online American website that was also like a it sold Warhammer shop that and also did like all the events and stuff. I think they're still around. I have no idea uh, what you're talking about. Don't worry then. <laughs> I can't think what they were called. So the hobby shop in my town where I grew up was called uh, Millennium Games. Southtown Plaza in, uh, no, Jefferson Plaza, Henrietta, New York. Nice little place. Really oh, into Magic Henrietta. the Gathering. Someone is seeking to kill me. Oh, dear. I think I still have all my Magic cards. Magic the Gathering is an expensive hobby. <laughs> mm. Actually, saying that, computer gaming, that's also an expensive hobby. All expensive hobbies hobby. are expensive. Yeah, that's very true. Oh, I don't have a subjugation invasion CB for Ro Roos anymore. You don't? No. Well, come. Since we... Oh, Midge, I man, know. I have a marriage proposal for you. <laughs> Get in my bedroom. Robert and... <laughs> this Ada. bitch playing a woman right now? That's pretty common. <laughs> nah, my no, son you... needs to get married. You can't... You can't I, think, well, I think in this series, we should... We should we should increase the uh, the power of women and all play like shield maidens. I don't have a problem with that. All right, I got I got one more holding I'm gonna siege down, and then I'm coming but I'm coming home. Let's throw the queen in jail. I don't really like her, so I'll do it. Is it how 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 awful is it if I murdered a pregnant woman? Pretty awful. That's a sound bite. <laughs> She's in jail. Well, I'll just bloat her when it comes around. If the kid pops out before then, all you know, that's fine. If not, double bloat. Two for the price of one. Uh, a bearded elder approaches me while I'm out hunting one afternoon, wearing a simple traveler's coat and a wide brib hat, and conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of mead, and then informs you that just yonder, a well lies forgotten filled with gold. He wanders off, uh, chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with a familiarity of his pleasures. It kind of sounds like Tom Bombadil. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty accurate. Uh, gain gold, gain prestige, gain zealous. Why would I not do that? Zealous is one of my <laughs> favorite traits. King of Russ has so many packs. Yeah, I know. It's been the same guy for 16, like... 16 and they're all... So. And almost all of them are actually allies. They're not just, yeah, I won't poke you in the back while you're not looking. 
All right, that's the fullest my boats have ever been. That's not a euphemism. No, it's not. My long boats are full. Um, did I did I take capture anybody good? No, I didn't capture and I didn't capture anybody after the first like expedition. How sad. Back to Akarhus. That was very uh. What midge? That was very German. A mystic appears. Your martial porcelain looks looks lost for words, master. I am not sure what to think. He shakes his head as he searches for the correct way to phrase himself. My Filkir, she is impressive. I can't quite put my finger on Giggity. it. I have to mention she has traveled far. His face conveys un uncertainty as he shifts his weight. I see, you say, scratching your head. Porcelain breaks the silence. My lord, I can still send her away. What say you? I want to hear this woman out. Don't crush my dreams of immortality, Midge Man. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my friend never showed up to my banquet. I'm sad. <laughs> Nearly in the back of my mind, I think Midge Man's character is going to sabotage my ritual or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> One would hope not. All right, I successfully returned for my raiding expedition. I'm going a raiding. An intriguing encounter. The tall figure offers you a nod but does not smile. She eyes you skeptically. She is definitely foreign looking, that's for sure. Measuring you up as you are Damn her, foreigners. her clothing, possibly intended to be modest, is foreign to you, and you have trouble concealing your confusion. In fact, the warrior woman before you is bound to stand out in your court in no more ways than one. I am Namis. You are Ego. This is true. These, this, these are true statements. <laughs> she says as if somebody has forgotten to introduce you. Perhaps you should have spoken the first words to a certain position. But the muscular woman makes you more than a little nervous. I hear you are looking to live forever. I can help. Well, good. <laughs> Thank I lose 100 piety. My temple vassal penny goes down by 25. Just don't jump off a cliff like I did. <laughs> I will accept your teachings. Jesus Christ, Ben. You brought home 600 gold? Uh, We don't talk about that. 600 gold, 600 prestige? Yeah. Damn. How, wait, did that pop up for you? Yeah. Whenever one of my vassals comes home with something, I see it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. At least direct vassals, anyway. It's like you guys or any little counts under me. <laughs> he, all, all you peons. I told Ingrid you my converted. long boats were full. Where did you raid? Uh, it's like I, I, I took down like three entire counties in England. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of strange old scholar in the what? What is it? The studies. You have conducted in your observatory have convinced you that there are many strange things beyond the known cosmos. There are a few sources and no one uh, to share knowledge with you, however. But you have heard of a strange old scholar in the Arabian desert who's rumored to possess vast knowledges of the weird. I will go see him. So I'm on. I just left the realm to go to Arabia. Yep. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My son is coming to me with a serious concern. Which is? My dearest uh, father, I fear for your life, he says earnestly and seizes your hand. Who is this sacrilegious heathen you have invited to our, your court? Her promises are sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, father, allow me to find her true motive before it was too late. I just slap it's him. nonsense you're overreacting, or it's certainly better to be safe than sorry, or you're right. I'm going to say he's overreacting. I mean, he's next in line anyway. He's got like eight votes, nine votes. So, I mean, like, and he's not a bad character either. You know, he's got 15 martial. He is a brilliant strategist. Well, he's dull, but eh. diligent, brave, and content. I mean, he's not a bad character. I don't mind playing him, even if I go jump off a cliff. There you okay. go. Things are things will be fine in the kingdom of Bob. I want to bloat. Why can't I bloat? Have I recently that bloated? Vast Bob one. Bob Markia. I have Christians to get rid of. To all you Christians taking up space. Yeah, really. Shame to have. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about Bedway anymore. It's um, it's fallen out of my favor. I've moved my my capital to a more prosperous realm. The Necronomicon. All right, his name's Ibrahim. 
You speak at length, and he tells you the scholars Abdul the Mad, who knew many things of the strange spheres beyond, and ta and of uh, times not human. New Mad wrote a book called the Nepro Necronomicon, where you were, I must have it. Gain thirty technological points, lose a hundred gold, gains the Necronomicon, giving you the following effects: monthly piety minus two. I lose two piety per month for holding the Necronomicon, which will basically about even out. Um, yeah, I'm buying the Necronomicon. So I have the sacrifice thing. Don't what? gouge out your own eye. In honor of the ancestors, the mist sits on the floor when you enter the room. What looks like a polished piece, what looks like polished pieces of bones thrown out in front of her. She motions for you to join her. You have neglected your spirit, she says. Eyes closed. You shift it comfortably in your seat. I have not, you mumble. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh her eyes open at this and she stares at you a steely cold look and when you attract your statement you must sacrifice she declares very well you reply thinking you'll have you learn your learned empress iliana see to it as if she could read your mind and miss shakes her head you must do this on your own do, do you see what i see you know it's a pattern of bone you know it's a pattern of the bones it looks like an antelope a field of crops or a man falling uh not a man <laughs> falling <laughs> me <laughs> i would go with a field of crops that's I will vote. perform the sacrifice using a barrel of the finest grain in Jaland. Or I can do an antelope ordered in from far away, which costs gold. Um, I feel like... How much gold? Wait. So it's 57 gold to do the antelope thing. Uh, the crops doesn't cost me anything. Well, I can, I can tell you I've done the antelope and ended up having my hand cut off for it. I will do a field of crops then, just to see what happens. And I fell off a cliff, so the man falling one mm. <laughs> might not be the way to go. Unless it's talking about the last person who tried. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm just waiting for Bo Bob's screams of agony. <laughs> You, you accidentally inhale the grain and you choke to death. <laughs> a bloody mishap. Mm. You're, you anxiously carry the torch to the altar where these three full barrels of grain stand neatly together. Nemes watches you intently, her stern face void of motion. And you find yourself wondering if she possesses any feelings at all or if she carries herself herself by duty alone. Such a straight back, such discipline. You can see why she would inspire respect and the thought makes you nervous. The momentary distraction causes you to lose focus and you realize that the flames are now licking on your sleeves. Uh oh, you burned. I gained the trade one handed. Huh? I failed the quest. Yeah. Well, uh, we're, we're we're gathering knowledge about it. I, I've gotten to that point in the quest. I did the antelope and it. Um, she went to like slit its throat and 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 like I wasn't holding it well enough and she cut off my hand while sacrificing the antelope or something like that. So I yeah, think sounds... either of them would work. I think it's just a chance to hit kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But don't do the falling mana. Why not? You died. Well, I didn't select that. Well, though. no, that... Oh, the, fall, the, falling, the falling mana would just indicate that she would leave my court and I failed the quest. Oh, okay. Oh, really? That's kind of, that's kind of like, a, oh, this is madness. I'm turning back sort of option is what it is. All right. Well, it's it's got to be just a chance to hit thing then. Yeah. Well, uh, I I was an, I was talking to someone from Hindustan. That's why how I had sympathy phys, sympathy, sympathy for Indian mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, she was just I was in a walk I was doing a walk through the woods trying to find like enlightenment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how I fell off a cliff because I was almost at enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were so enlightened that you didn't realize there was a cliff there. Exactly, yeah. Exactly that. Uh, what is my income? What's your income, Bob? I am making 454. Not bad. I actually brought back more money than I know what to do with. Ugh. I'm using it for construction. Building up the uh, areas, the various areas of the realm. 
Uh, working at your observatory, you are often disturbed by strange noises, uncannily large insects carrying away smaller pieces of equipment, and odd human-like figures spying on you, then disappearing into the night before you can confront them. You really struggle to maintain concentration uh, and get anything done. I must focus. 20% chance of getting stressed. Uh, it's no use. I give it all up. Loses diligent. Uh, I'll take the 20% chance of getting stressed, and I am stressed. 20% chance and I got it. Fuck. Gonna have to try to- now I'm, I'm stressed and gluttonous. I wanna know what happens at the end of this. Uh, as long as I don't be- if it's something other than a lunatic, I'd be good. And the Umiids look bigger than they were before. They're creeping up. I think they keep holy warring France. Yeah. They are definitely bigger than they were. Mm-hmm. And I bet as soon as crusade time comes around, they go for us and not them. Mm-hmm. Well, I I found that if the Umiids don't blow up, they 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 slowly take out the Catholic powers in Europe. And they they won their decadence revolts. I mean, the Abbasids they blew up pretty good. They're not very strong anymore comparatively. They lost almost all of their holdings from North Africa and beyond. All of Egypt fell. Half of the Shia uh, over in Persia are huge. Aramid, yeah, they're they're yeah. they're they're nice and big. Twenty four thousand troops. Let's go fight them. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give that a pass. <laughs> When is this gonna fuck? When, when is my training ground gonna complete? I uh, finished April 22nd of next year. Okay. So that's like a little less than a year. But we are 30 minutes in. You're 30 minutes so in. Yeah. Mm. All right. Was this me? I don't remember. Just go for it. Um, well, well, look at this. Bob, Ben, Midge. Bob, Ben. This is Midge. Oh, well, I hope you I all think. enjoyed. Yeah. No, wait, well, this is Ben. Never mind. Oh, oh, ben. Okay. oh uh I hope you have enjoyed this, folks. <laughs> um it, it's been a pretty interesting series, I gotta say so far. Uh, I I I'm I'm in personally enjoying the um us working together as as vassals to the the all father. Um if you guys have enjoyed this, don't forget to drop a like, leave those comments right down below. Check out the other perspectives if you are so inclined. Links are in our descriptions, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.